In this video, I will answer a common viewer question, which is about whether or not you need Finnish language skills in order to work and build a career in Finland. What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Oliver and I'm a master's student in economics at Aalto University in Finland. And on this channel, we talk about education and early career development, specifically here in Finland. So if you are new here, do consider subscribing. All right, so I get this question all the time. Do you need to learn to speak and write Finnish in order to build a career in Finland? So unfortunately, the answer here is uh, yes and no. So it's been public knowledge for quite a long time that foreigners in Finland often struggle to find work in their respective fields. For example, the Finnish news broadcasting company Yle published an article in 2019 called I'm broken, depressed, foreigners struggle to find work in Finland. In this article, Ule drills deep into some of the issues that we do have in the Finnish job market, including the fact that many Finnish companies still require their employees to have good Finnish language skills. In addition to reading about these problems in the news, I have seen these issues firsthand while working in the Finnish recruitment market. So I've known about these issues for quite some time, but what prompted me to actually make this video was a LinkedIn post about some new data, which stated that almost half of Finnish employers expect their employees to speak near to fluent Finnish. So this survey from the Finnish Center of Economic Development, Transport and Environment, or ELU, stated that only around 6% of employers in Finland do not require any Finnish language skills from their employees. So these numbers are absolutely astounding and they actually tell a really grim tale of the Finnish job market. However, this is actually not the full story. While learning some basic Finnish will definitely help you, unless you work in fields that mandate Finnish skills by law, you do not have to learn Finnish in order to do well here. I've seen huge amounts of international graduates who have been able to build an excellent career without speaking a word of Finnish. You also have to remember that even if a large portion of companies in Finland do require Finnish language skills, the bigger the company, the less common this is. The same is true in terms of how international the companies are. Companies that focus mostly on the international markets are less prone to require Finnish because they have most of their customers abroad. So this basically means that they have English as their official working language. Also, you have to know that whether or not Finnish language skills are required is also heavily dependent on your field. While companies and organizations working in, say, the local healthcare industry often require Finnish language skills because of national regulations. At the same time, companies that operate in the IT and technology fields most often operate in English simply due to the nature of their fields. Also, one more thing that you need to consider is that the more specialized your role, the less likely it is that Finnish language skills are required. This applies to basically any field and it is simply due to the law of supply and demand. This means that if there are not that many people who can actually do a specific job, the less likely it is that a company will restrict themselves from hiring a suitable person just because of the lack of Finnish language skills. So yeah, there are issues when it comes to the Finnish job market and international talent. I will not dispute that at all. However, I would like to know that if you want to make this as easy for yourself as possible, you need to make sure that you make yourself as desirable on the job market as possible. Talking about education and fields that are in demand, let me thank today's sponsor, Aalto University. So Aalto University is the number one ranking university in Finland in the fields of technology, business and arts and design, and it also ranks third in Europe and ninth in the entire world in the QS top 50 under 50 rankings. I've done both my bachelor's and master's degrees at Aalto, and I really recommend that you consider applying there for your bachelor's or master's degree. They have a large amount of super interesting degrees taught in English, and it's noteworthy that Aalto University graduates have some of the best employment numbers out of all university graduates in Finland. More information about the different degree programs and how to apply can be found through the links in the description box below. All right, so now that we know the situation and the realities, here are some practical tips for making job hunting easier for international talents. First, if you are an international student and you want to get employed in Finland, start networking with other students as well as with potential employers on day one. 
As was mentioned in this video where I interviewed Steven Ter Horst, networking is one of the most important tools when it comes to job hunting in Finland, and you need to start in the second you land in the country. According to some estimates, around half of open vacancies in Finland are actually filled without any kind of job ads. These so-called silent job offers are mostly filled through recommendations. This means that if you want to utilize these kind of opportunities, you need to start networking with students, more seasoned professionals, as well as recruiters in your field ASAP. However, before you do that, you need to first learn how to network with Finnish people, because you can easily mess it up if you don't know how Finns build professional relationships. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I really recommend that you watch the interview with Steven, because he shares some really valuable tips on the topic. Second, I really recommend that you take at least some basic Finnish courses as a part of your university studies. While you do not need to speak fluent Finnish to do well here, having at least basic level skills will definitely help you in the long term to A, integrate into the society, but also B, to get a foot in the door when it comes to job hunting. The reasons for taking Finnish language courses at the university are one, you will have the best, you know, Finnish language teachers in the world. Two, you will have a class full of people who are in the same situation and who will give you peer support. Three, the courses are included in your tuition, so you don't have to pay anything for them. And four, you can actually count those courses towards your degree. Moving on, the third tip is to start your job hunting as early as possible. Again, as Steven mentioned in his interview, you need to reserve around five to six months for the job application process. This means that if you need a job for the summer, you should start looking for one already around New Year's. This way you will maximize your chances of getting hired before the summer. Building on that, the fourth tip is to follow people like Lari Numminen and Steven, who post updates about the Finnish job market on social platforms like LinkedIn and Twitter. The good news is that since you are watching this video, you are already ahead the game. Talking of which, if you are interested in learning more about studying and working in Finland, make sure to subscribe to the channel, because I have a bunch of new videos coming up on this topic. Next, I recommend that you watch this video and go through this entire playlist where I talk more about working in Finland. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.